Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I explain how to use Windows Task Scheduler to automatically delete files older than a certain number of days. You can specify the number of days as you wish. I will automatically delete files older than 30 days. But before I begin, let me explain the concept of the video. As a user, when you want to delete a folder or file, all you have to do is select it and press the delete button on your keyboard. But for example, if you want to delete files after 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days, you can set Storage Sense to do exactly that. However, Storage Sense doesn't support custom folders. It only works with folders like the Downloads folder, Recycle Bin, and Cache folders. This is where the Windows Task Scheduler comes in. It gives you the ability to automate cleaning tasks, including deleting files older than a specified number of days. This works with any folder you want on your computer, so I will show you step-by-step step how to use the task scheduler with a simple PowerShell command to automatically delete files older than 30 days or any time period you want. Okay, let's start. Now, open the task scheduler. In the search box on the taskbar, type task scheduler and open it as an administrator. Then, click the Task Scheduler library on the left side to select it. Then, in the Actions panel on the right side, click Create Basic Task. This wizard will help you easily create a task to delete folders after a specified period. In this step, give your task a descriptive name. I'm going to name this task Delete Files Older Than 30 Days. You can add a description for this task if you like. Then, click Next. In this step, Choose a trigger, which is the time the task will run. We have several options, such as daily, weekly, monthly, when the computer starts, or when you log in. In my case, I want the task to start daily, but you can choose the appropriate option based on your preferences and work tasks. Then click Next to continue. Here, select the date and time for the task to start. In this specific step, each user chooses the time and date that suits them according to their preferences and work tasks. So select the time and date that suits you and click the Next button to continue. Here, select the Start a Program option because we'll be running a PowerShell command. Click the Next button to continue with the rest of the steps. In this step, we'll add a PowerShell script. In the Program or Script field, type PowerShell. Next, in the Add Arguments field, I'll write the PowerShell script. However, first, you must know and specify the path to the folder you want to delete. For example, I have a folder on my C drive called Old Work. This is the folder whose files I'll delete every 30 days. As for the PowerShell script, this is the command you'll copy and paste into the Add Arguments field so it can be executed by the task scheduler. I'll leave the command in the video description. Before posting it, modify the path to the folder you want to delete. So, delete folder path and type the path to the folder. Also, modify the time as you see fit. Type the number of days you want instead of number of days. In my case, I'll enter 30 because I want the files to be deleted after 30 days. You can enter the number of days you want instead of 30. Before copying the command, I want to briefly explain how this command works. This command displays a list of all files in the folder and subfolders, including hidden files. The command then filters the files to include only those that have been modified more than 30 days ago, or the number you specified in the script. Number of days is the value you chose. It then deletes the filtered files using the dash force option to ensure that even hidden or read-only files are removed. This script is safe and does not affect folders. It only deletes files that are more than 30 days old or the number you specified in the script. This is how this script works in a nutshell. Now copy the script and paste it into the add arguments field of the create basic task wizard. Then click the next button. Finally, Click the Finish button to create the task. You will find that the task has been added to the task scheduler 
and the task scheduler will now automatically run the script according to the schedule you specified. You will notice that the task status is ready, or you can right-click on the task and select Run to run it. This will open the PowerShell window and it will quickly disappear. After that, the task status in the scheduler will become Run, which means that it is now running successfully. You can also close the task scheduler window, confirm that the task is running properly, and check it after the specified period. That's all there is to it in today's video. We've learned together, step by step, how to automate file deletion using the Windows Task Scheduler and a simple PowerShell script. This method is great for keeping custom folders clean, such as downloads, screenshots, or any other frequently used work folder. It's fast and efficient and gives you complete control, unlike the limited storage sense tool. If you find this video useful, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more technical tips. And don't forget to activate the bell button so you don't miss anything new. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.